guys so this video will be providing you some sample pictures and videos taken with the one plus two uh, cameras in good lighting condition and low lighting condition so the audio you're hearing is still being recorded with the one plus two but I did it indoors uh, just because it's windy outside you know it's fall so I decided to do this indoors but it's still from the one plus two camera I just cut the audio so generally you'll, you'll notice that the quality of the picture in terms of sharpness and clarity is pretty nice but I do notice that the camera tends to pulse a lot and what I mean by pulse, it seems like it has to constantly refocus. But let's just do a zoom test for now. This is maximum zoom for you guys. Even for 4K, it's a lot of noise. And uh, this is about halfway. Um, so, you know, for 4K, it's not one of the best. It's not even close, but it's okay for a smartphone. So, um, you know, just speaking, you know, about that pulsing thing, I decided to switch locations just to confirm this. Um, and it again, it seems to pulse a little bit. It seems like it has to... Uh, refocus in a fraction of a second very oftenly, uh, frequently. So, you know, I was hoping that maybe changing environments, this would kind of change. Maybe there was something in the environment that was in earlier that was causing it, but that's not the case. I'm noticing there's a bit of a warping effect as well when panning left and right, which is a little unfortunate. Um, I know it's a cheaper phone, but it is what it is. Let's switch over to the front-facing camera. Okay, so this time we've switched over to the front-facing camera, and the reason this segment is small is because the front-facing camera only records in 720p, whereas the rest of the video is in 4K, which is 2160p. So I still expanded this video to make it somewhat watchable, but if I expand it all the way, it'll be extremely blurry. So that's why it's small. Now, it is a little disappointing that this camera records in 720p at the front-facing camera. Some websites claim it records in 1080p. That's not true. There's no option anywhere in the camera app to adjust the quality setting. You're capped at 720p front-facing video recording. So whatever website claims you can do that, they either modified the software to allow it somehow, or they didn't do their research. Simple as that. Generally though, from front facing camera, you know, usually on cell phones are not that great. They're just like, whatever. But the quality on this one is kind of like, meh. For a five megapixel count, that's fairly large. And it seems like they kind of just up the megapixel count on the front facing camera to kind of hide the fact that it only records in 720p and the quality is not that great. In fact, because there's no sunlight to compensate for it and make it unbiased, I even have one of my studio lights set up, which even then is still, I'm still getting a little bit of noise. So it's not that spectacular. Okay, so now we're just taking some uh, pictures. So this is regular with sunlight in the background on purpose. And I switched over to HDR mode um, in this exact same spot. I don't notice really much of a difference. This is just a regular shot in a good lighting scenario, no backlighting, just a clear, nice shot. Again, this one is a bit more color up close. And the next shot is, of course, with a bit of backlighting. This is regular auto mode. And then this one is HDR mode. And this time you can really notice the color difference with that backlighting. It looks a lot better. This is just a regular shot at night with quite a bit of noise. And uh, this one is just me just taking a shot of just some random dead bushes with no flash. And then, of course, this one is with the flash activated. And this final shot is just a random one I decided to put in just as another one um, in a low-lighting situation. Again, it's quite a bit of noise. So this is the final segment, recording in a low-lighting situation. Now, be sure to check out the downloadable video, which is available. It's actually the very first clip, the very first segment you guys watched. Completely unaltered, no voice audio over, no nothing, straight from the OnePlus. You can find a link to that downloadable video in the video description. So this is the zoom test in a low lighting situation at max zoom. This is half zoom and then back to normal. So I just want to mention, just like in a good lighting situation, the camera tends to frequently every few seconds pulse and try to, it seems like refocus at a, a fraction of a second, which is very annoying and disappointing because this is most likely, I could be wrong, but a software issue, which hopefully can be addressed with the software update. I don't think it's a hardware issue and hopefully that's not the case. Generally though, for a smartphone, it does have a lot of noise in a low lighting situation. Um, you know, smartphones tend to do that, but this camera especially has a lot. It's hard to complain at this price point, but it's something I do have to mention to you guys, especially considering there's a lot of light in this parking lot. So generally though, the cameras are, well, they're, they're not that great. The front facing cameras especially uh, quite disappointing, but I'll give my final verdict in the review video. You can find a link to the review in the video description. Be sure to also check out my Facebook, Google Plus, Twitter links, also in the video description. Hit the like button, it does help. Subscribe, and thanks for watching.